How's it going everyone? Laser here with another video. Before we get to the point, just a short update about the about the review of the ROG Strix 3080. It's coming. I'm almost done with the benchmarking, with the performance testing, so the review should be up next week. And in today's video, we're going to talk about something different, something I've encountered while testing, while you know installing the, the GPU. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can hear, for those of you that know, this is a typical case of coil line, where you just hear the coil in inside the GPU vibrating. For those of you that don't know, let's start from the very beginning. So your GPU consists of capacitors, resistors and coils that do different things. Coils, for example, can use as transformers, which change the value of uh, the current from, from one value to another. They're quite common in uh, power supplies are quite common in for example phone chargers where the value is changed from you know the input of like 230 volt to 24 volt typically or 12 volt and they call they can also be used as chokes and chokes um, serve one purpose and it's mainly filtering the current or filtering the voltage that has high frequency for example so it doesn't damage your card or it doesn't cause some malfunction to your card so they basically work as filters and only allow like uh, steady current instead of you know fluctuating current to go through or variable frequent variable frequency current to go through. And in certain circumstances, the coil that's working as a choke while doing its work can start vibrating. And most of coils, when they're uh, filtering the current, they are vibrating. You just don't hear them. In some situations, however, when you know a few things come together. Uh, the call starts vibrating in a frequency that's audible to your ear, to the human ear. And that's that's the thing that you heard in the video that I've uh, showed you before. Now, the good thing about this that it's not a malfunction. It won't cause any damage to your card. It's just a normal way of how, you know, physics work, how the current technology works. And coil lines are, and coil lines are a quite common, uh, let's say, problem. Uh, in the modern technology, they're not only present in GPUs, but they're present basically anywhere where calls are, calls are present. And the bad thing about it is uh, you can't really get rid of it. There are a few things you can try and try to either lower the volume of the coil line or you can, um, some in some cases, actually get rid of it. But for 90% of the cases, it will stay with you for the rest of your life or for the rest of the GPU's life. And one thing you can try, uh, if you have a poor quality power supply unit, like, I don't know, you know, some uh, very small brand or something very niche or uh, something that has, doesn't have all the certificates that's, that are necessary, you can try replacing that. And people, uh, people say that in some cases it helps. Uh, it may be not it might not be able to reduce coil line completely but it should be able to at least lower the uh, the volume of the coil line a bit in my case i've tried it i've replaced my psu in my in my pc with a different one which was supposed to be better but it didn't help so like i said probably 90 percent of you will not see any improvement uh, but if you have access to another PSU from a friend or you can get one from a shop and then return it if it doesn't uh, work out for you, you should definitely try it. Another thing uh, which can uh, solve the coil wipe problem is undervolting or underclocking your card. But let's be honest, you don't really want to do that because you're losing performance. So unless the coil one is really irritating, really loud and you can't stand it, you can try to undervolt, underclock your card, and it probably will help. Um, another thing you can try is just putting your case um, below your desk so you don't hear the coil line or get a soundproof, sound dampening case, which should also reduce the amount of the fan noise, of the coil line noise that's getting out of the case, and this will help as well. But um, there is one thing that will reduce uh, coil line to zero. At least uh, you won't hear it anymore. And uh, let me show you, let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. That's it. You can get a uh, pretty good headphones, prob preferably ones with close back. So the, they don't let any sound from the outside in. And with your headphones on, you will not hear the call line. I've tried it and it actually works pretty well. 
uh, obviously when you take them off you will you will still hear it but for me it works fine i'm mainly gaming uh, using headphones i don't game using speakers so for my uh, for my use the coil wine is not a big problem especially since like i said it's not a faulty card it's not a faulty part of the card that should be replaced or or return to the manufacturer. Most manufacturers don't treat coil wine as something that's, that allows you to replace the card with a new one. That's just how it is. It's fairly common in the 3080s. I've seen a lot of comments on YouTube videos that the, the issue is quite common, that a lot of people have been facing it. So if you have one with a coil wine, just don't worry. Try to somehow mitigate it, just use a better case or use headphones with closed back and you should be fine. If it's really irritating, I guess you could try to return your card if you still can, but looking at the availability of the 3080s right now, I don't recommend that because you don't know where you're going to get your, your replacement. For me, the call wine starts at around 40% of the GPU load and it gets higher in volume and slightly changes the pitch of the wine. It gets louder at around 99%, but you know, it's not something that's really super irritating or something that's uh, really distracting, especially to, like I said, when I'm gaming, I'm using headphones and when I'm watching movies, the GPU is not that loaded to emit the very irritating sound. Okay, I hope. Uh, you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And if you'd like to see con more content like this, you can subscribe and be notified when new videos are up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.